Is this the world's most expensive Mac? Hey guys, today we're going to check out the new Apple Store at Marina Bay Sands. Actually, honestly, I don't even know if I'm able to get in because you need this like online appointment thing that's super annoying. But we're gonna go try our luck, okay? I went yesterday. The security guard told me that drop-ins in the afternoon is a little bit better. So that's why we're going at 3 p.m. right now. I am successfully at Marina Bay Sand. Taking a minute to enjoy this view. There's the waterfall right ahead of us. I'm actually slightly nervous that we're not gonna get an appointment. Even though the mall seems fairly empty right now, you just never know. All right, fingers crossed, let's do it. Oh, we're here, but look, there's like a line and stuff. Hi, I don't have an appointment. Are there any walk-ins right now? Uh, no walk-ins, but we are here. So near yet so far. Okay, so the next appointment is at 5.30, so I guess I'll just come back at 5.30. Hey guys, see this? I'm like so close yet so far. You cannot just walk in now. Everything's by appointment, but the good thing is if you get here earlier in the day, you can try and get an appointment on the day of. So it's 3.30 right now. I got an appointment for 5.30. Yay, which is not bad on the Thursday. What the security told me before this was that it is quietest in the afternoon, which is around now. It starts picking up again at around six o'clock, which makes sense after people get off work and they come here and they want to check this baby out. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're actually walking to the Apple store from the outside this time. All right, so we're almost there. I'm excited. Actually, surprisingly, there's not like a whole ton of people here right now. We've been waiting for 20 minutes now, and I have one person in front of me for my turn. Like this is way longer than I would normally ever wait for anything, but just for you guys, I'm doing it. Oh my god, guys, this is like really exciting. I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie or something. Oh, wow. Damn. What? Wow. This is so cool. Everything about this is so cool. Dude, guys, this is insane. <laughs> Alright, let's see how expensive my Mac can get. Is this the world's most expensive Mac? Like, is this by far the most expensive configuration we can get? Uh, I think you can push it a bit more, but I'm not too sure. Oh my god. Alright, so clearly I'm not getting that. <laughs> Even if I wanted to. So, I think I just configured the world's most expensive MacBook. And I'm ready to not buy it but I am also ready to come get my free tourist shot. What else do I need to know? Actually, you know what? 
phones. To so believe it or not, I have not played around very much with this phone because I upgraded my phone before this thing came out. Actually, it's less bulky than I imagined. Maybe because people, a lot of people put their case on yeah. it, then it yeah. feels so much thicker. Exactly, yeah. But like, just like this is really nice. Yeah. I guess I... Lighting. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. No, Thank no. you. All right, that was uh, quite a trip. Thank you for visiting us today. Stepping out into the humid Singaporean air. Wow. Guys, I just spent a long time talking to the Apple business team because I'm in the creative business, right? So I could potentially be buying like really expensive stuff. This globe here was designed and inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. All the glass panels were shipped in from Germany and this building took five years to build. That is insane. Every single corner is like an Instagram worthy spot, right? And in terms of reminder marketing, reminder marketing is actually a thing. It is to remind consumers of exactly where a brand is being positioned. And Apple taking this prime spot next to Marina Bay Sands is definitely sending a super strong message as it is the leading brand in the world. So in the middle of this pandemic, do you notice that Apple stock price has basically just escalated, making it the most valuable company in the world? It is at $2 trillion, guys. What? I guess it's just a world where the rich gets richer and when they're trapped, they also have to find a way to spend their money and then they're gonna keep spending their money on products that they want to buy and apple is absolutely a luxury good and it's very interesting because in a pandemic both the cheap goods and the luxury goods seem to be getting a boost in stock price hey guys thanks so much for watching the video if you've come this far please consider subscribing and following me on Cool Mom Diana on Facebook. You can also find me under Cool Mom Diana on YouTube where I'll be covering the same topics but giving you a longer version of the video so we go more in depth into each of the topics. And then you can also find me on Instagram under Cool Mom Diana and I share you know my everyday life with my kids on there. And uh, feel free to DM me anytime. Thank you.